Yes, my people, I see the heart. It don't happen. No. Our northern brothers and sisters need to hear this message. If Tinubu cannot answer question without people not ever answer, huh? that means Tinubu is not supposed to run to become a president of this country. This man, don't cut that table. Please, my brother family, just they share this video. Make our northern brothers and sisters make they hear this message. Because this message will be change the narrative. Please, my brother family, just they share this video. Because this man, don't shake the table. As you find asking this question, now he answer them directly. I want you to talk to the psyche of That's an average Nigerian that sees evil and still continues to vote evil leadership and bad leadership at your own expense. If you see me on the street and you say to me, go and destroy or go and burn down that building. First of all, I look at myself. If I have no idea of where my meal is coming from today and I'm not guaranteed of a meal tomorrow, even for one, two, three, four thousand, I'll go and burn down that building. But if I'm gainfully employed and I'm going to work and I know that at the end of the year, I mean at the end of the month, I'll be paid and I can survive, certainly I will tell the guy you are crazy. But in a situation where I have no idea where my, my, next, my next meal is coming from, and somebody comes and offers me a, a, a job, any type of job at all, why do you think it's easy to recruit, uh, uh, to recruit uh, you know, people to do evil in this country? Go around this country, Rufai. Go around this country, uh, Rufai. You can, in almost every state of this country, you actually can raise a thousand people from anywhere to help you do whatever you want to do. Ambassador Keshe, we are very... There has been some talk this week about Chatham House and the appearance of the APC uh, presidential candidate there. Uh, what do you think of that? Do you think it's standard practice in an international forum like that for questions to be allocated, to be shared, to be distributed, uh, you know, you know the rest of the details already in the public domain. Ruben, um, I just watched on my way here um, a clip by Mr. Macaroni, you know, uh, and, I, and I think, you know, he graphically demonstrated the level that we have descended in terms of uh, leadership in this country. What I find strange about what happened in Chetham House, really, is not uh, what happened in Chetham House, but the, but the quality, the high caliber of intelligent people that are defending what happened there. And as almost everybody has said, when you are going to an interview, you do not carry a whole chunk of uh, experts to help you answer your questions. We are not going to recruit, we are not recruiting um, Erufai. We are not recruiting Wale Edu, and we are not recruiting the women leader. We are preparing to recruit if we decide to, if he passes the examination. We are preparing to recruit, I mean to uh, uh, employ Ahmed Bola Tinumbu. But if Ahmed Bola Tunumbu cannot stand up and answer questions, very, very simple, direct questions, then he's not worthy to be on any tickets, to be frank, to be candid. To be candid, he's not worthy. And I think anybody who defends it, particularly those who know it is wrong and continue to defend it, it is so painful when you see some people you respect, some people you admire, for whatever reason, come out and make this spurious argument that, oh, it is a... Uh, you know, it is collegiate. It is the same thing you hear when they defend Tunumbu that he knows how to discover talent. Listen, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's an insult to people like Professor Shibaju when you say that he was discovered. He was already a professor of law. He was already um, uh, a son before he joined the administration of Bola Tunumbu. You discover talents when they are young. Go and look at the what the football coaches do when they discover talent, you know. So you don't, you don't become Mongo Park that discovered the, the River Niger because you, you know, no. You know, but on your other issue, um, in terms of, uh, you know, um, local government, that is the real problem, Ruben. In 1999, good people, people with good ideas and brains, you know, we're reluctant to go into politics. And so the vacuum was filled by the people you described. The problem today is that they are so entrenched, completely entrenched, 
that it is difficult to um, dislodge them. But my take is, we just got to continue to try to get them out, one way or the other. It is going to be a long struggle, because every year, an outgoing governor and try make sure that the same people you know, are taken over by his uh, successor, and they become the new you know, uh, uh, boys on, I mean, the kids on the blocks. Mm. So we just must find a way. The answer to your question is very simple. And good people who, th who believe they okay, have sir. ideas should go and start from the local government, and that might just okay, be the, the, the way out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you, Ambassador um, Joe Keshi.